You guys, have you noticed? My own issue with the police. Have you guys noticed that all Nigerian police guns must have one yeah, yeah, blue, black, or orange cello tape? Have you? In fact, this police tell you, leave that criminal, we have him on tape. It is not camera! It is cello tape! Cello tape! So, because you guys don't know me, you won't clap for me. Oh, because I'm short, you get the clap, short, right? Abuja is my first time. She's some love, she's some love, my first time. It's not easy to come to Abuja by a nice boss from Lagos, please. I deserve more, thank you. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You all look very beautiful tonight. I'm so excited to perform here tonight. My name is Markele David. If you're meeting me for the first time, I'm a professional basketball player. I play basketball professionally for the Nigerian children team. I know you wouldn't know me, because you guys watch football in Nigeria. Messi Ronaldo nonsense. I am popular in North America. They talk about the way I jump, the way I grab the ball. And for the ladies, looking at me like, oh my God, it's so cute, thank you, I'm away. Hot <laughs> stuff. I'm, I'm a superstar model. I model for kids' clothing. <laughs> From age eight below, you know. And I came here today to spread one new message. We have the right for the equality of women called feminism. I'm here to spread the right for the equality of short people called short feminism. Because I believe short people, we deserve better. Nigerians, you guys just wake up every day and you guys just wake up and be like, how can I disrespect a short man today? And you do it. For example, I came here today, I was lodged in a hotel somewhere around here and I had to take Uber to the venue. Do you believe that when I ordered the Uber, the driver saw me and he put the whole car on Chai's lock. <laughs> Do you know how disrespectful that is? I'm like, okay, this is Abuja, this is the height of it all. Even in Lagos, public transport, whenever you travel, disrespect. There's always one woman, always offering to lap me. And now, it's not like she doesn't know I'm old though, she knows. Because she use this word, uncle. Wait, do you know what uncle is? Do, sir, can anybody ever call you uncle? No, uncle is for someone you can't determine his age. He's not a bro, he's not a man, so uncle. She's not like, uncle, tell my mind. Let my husband, let him lap you. And most times, I don't mind. In fact, the night boys that took me here, somebody, you know? Because I don't even mind. And the respect is everywhere. They should tell people, if you are short, just have money, you'll be respected. <laughs> nice joke. I don't, I don't have much, but I know this. For example now, the one that, made, that, that messed with my mental health, I'll never forget, bike. Bike was banned in Lagos. Right? And whenever I take bike, I used to know they don't stop me. Normally they see you, they, you are going to jail, you are gone. So now, I was going from a show 2 a.m. That, my area, they don't allow bikes. So I, as my bike entered the estate, first security, they don't stop us. I was like, God, you are doing this for me. You got off my forefathers. They did not stop me. Then when I got to the second checking point, they not stopped us. Now, the security, and I called the security over there and I said, why did you allow that bike to enter the estate? This one has, this one has, this one has, no bike passed. That it was delivery bike. So now in my head, I was like, okay, maybe it was the way I was seated. Do I look like a delivery box or something? Is it the black I was wearing? I think it, like, I had to look to the mirror, like, okay, okay, maybe, okay, my head, okay, it's triangular, okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe it could be. And the respect is everywhere, man. Everywhere. And even as a comedian, it's very hard. Did you notice they don't introduce me on stage? 
The last time you go, 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 go. Nobody will go, you go, 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 go. And the stupid thing is as a comedian, no matter how good you are, if you are short, you never be introduced as the next big thing. <laughs> when they told me, say, for a little bit of comedy, what? Disrespect everywhere, but I'm, I, I, will, I will not lie to you, man. I'm enjoying the heights. I am though, you know. For example, police doesn't arrest me. I've been with my younger brothers before. Police caught all of them. Called me, come. Give me 500 and take. Go and tell your parents. I've mean, arrested your brothers. It's got free. And, and the issue about the police, eh, me, eh, when it comes to the police, I can't relate to most of these things you guys complain about. Because when they see me, they're like, ah, where's your mommy? Where is your mommy? Don't be walking at night. Don't be walking. Take biscuit. Are you okay? Take biscuit. Go. It used to be funny until this old stuff. I, I don't know. You guys, have you noticed? My own issue with the police. Have you guys noticed that it's in the constitution of this country that all Nigerian police guns, all of our guns, they must have one yeah, yeah, blue, black, or orange cello tape. Have you? Sometimes there will be no bullet, oh. But that's a lot of constant. Have you heard of the word accidental discharge? Do you know that no police has ever gone to jail for accidental discharge before? But according to the constitutional right of this country, sometimes it's a lot of tape tight. So when they are trying to tighten it, yeah, 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 ta, you are gone. So the police can just say, I was doing my official duty, tightening the cello tape. That was given to me by the government. So now the issue is have you seen the police budget? Police budget 2018. Open your phone now, check it. Budget for new police college 16.62 million naira. Budget for the gun that the new police recruits they will use to do their duty 142 million dollars. Budget for cello tape. 162,214,962.20114 trillion dollars. In fact, this police tell you, leave that criminal, we have him on tape. It is not camera. It is cello tape, cello tape. They're not doing it. Ew, ew, ew. I don't know, you guys, I don't know, you guys, I don't wonder what they use this cello tape for. Look at the Yimbo police, the way they, the way they handle themselves. You want to die. Put your hand with the gun. Have you been drinking? Officer, shoot me just now, please. Let me go. Nigerian police, our police station. Your first name? Alagbon. Eriake. Zone G. Zone F. Zone. And I know there is somebody here looking at me like this guy. You are messing with the police. You are messing with the police. I'll tell you, police don't catch children. In fact, when police wanted to arrest me, do you know what happened? Police come and say, hey, you are the comedian cracking jokes about the police. I'm like, yes, sir. What can you do? He said, you are under arrest. I said, Sir, look at me. My name is Mark Le David. I am under everything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Abuja, you've been phoned. My name is Mark Le David. It's my first time here. Good night. I'll be seeing you more often.